What's up guys, I'm Holland Hanley. I'm super excited to be joining Team Discraft for the 2023 season. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you guys through my process of building the bag, kind of what molds I'm starting to lean towards and how I'm building my game around this new lineup of discs. All right, so let's start with putters. This year, I'm gonna be putting with the Hard Challenger SS. Um, I tried a bunch of different putters. Really what I did was I went to just my local pro shop took every putter off from the Discraft lineup off the shelf and just kind of gave it a little toss to see what felt good and then ordered the stuff that felt good and then this is what felt good and flew the way I like. Um, it's really easy to just put it on a straight line. It's nice and glidey. I can just put the nose up and it goes just straight. Um, for approach discs, right now I'm bagging both the Luna and the Fierce. Um, they're similar. The Luna's got just a little bit more stability so I'm still kind of not sure which one's gonna be my main like standstill approach disc. I think both of them have a slot for off the tee, this one being a little bit straighter uh, and even like a turning disc. We gotta have zones. So I'm gonna be bagging both the Z zone and the jawbreaker zone. Um, the Z zone's pretty overstable, so it's gonna have a good little dumpy finish. whereas the jawbreaker zone is nice and straight. I don't even have to throw it that hard and it'll go really, really straight. So it's been nice for kind of those slower forehand approach shots and also forehand tunnel shots that are kind of under like 250. Uh, moving on to mid ranges. I've been really liking the Z-Flex Buzz SS. Um, I want to get the Buzz SS and some other plastics because I like how easy it is to flip it up and uh, get it to go really straight. And I think once it beats in, it'll kind of turn into more of a right drifting kind of disc. I like the Z-Flex plastic, especially for those touchy kind of step out forehand shots. So this has become like a really big scramble disc for me. Um, it feels similar enough to the zone forehand, but it's flippy. So it's really easy to just give it a little wrist pop and get it to kind of go on that Anheuser angle or even glide really straight without having to put very much power behind it. Next up for mid ranges, I've got this uh, Chandler Fry stamped buzz. I don't really know what plastic it is, but it's really good. Um, this one flies pretty straight to slightly stable. So it's a good complement to the Buzz SS. It's that Buzz SS is like straight to slightly understable. This one's straight to slightly overstable. Um, I need to get some more buzzes and start working them in so that I have some different stabilities because I really like the feel of uh, this mold. And then stepping in from that, uh, right now I've actually got a Quake in the bag for that kind of beefier mid-range. Um, I got it because it feels pretty decent forehand. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna end up staying in the bag uh, or if I'm gonna get something like a Malta. It kind of is gonna depend on how comfortable I am using the zone in those like more windy situations. So this one's kind of in there on like a trial basis uh, for the moment. So moving on to fairways, I've got a Glow Passion with the Throw Joe die stamp on it. This one I believe is like a 168 gram. So I'm kind of experimenting with some lighter weight discs, seeing how the different plastics and the different weights kind of beat in over time um, to really figure out what I like uh, with this new lineup. So I like this Glow Passion. The next we've got Undertakers. So right now I've got this Big Z Undertaker. Um, this was actually Tyler's disc before. I, I grabbed it and put it in the bag because it's already a little bit beat in. Um, so it's a very straight flyer for me. It's a little bit more stable than the Glow Passion I have right now. Um, so I don't know if both will stay in the bag. It's gonna kind of depend on how they're beating in. Um, I'm gonna try them in a couple different plastics and kind of get an idea for the lifetime of the disc. Like does it start stable and then beat in to be flippy or does it kind of stay straight the entire time? And then the other Undertaker I have is this uh, Ben Calloway Tour Series from last year. It's a little bit more overstable than this Big Z. So they both have a spot in the bag for now, but we'll see how they, uh, how they beat in. All right, this next mold is one of the ones that I'm actually the most excited to be uh, throwing from the Discraft lineup. It is the Vulture. This immediately filled a slot that I feel like I haven't had filled the last couple of years. Um, the Vulture is nice and stable, but it still glides forward. So even in like headwind situations, I can get this thing to glide forward and still finish left, but it never just hooks left really hard. So right now I've actually got three Vultures in the bag. Um, I've got two ESP vultures. This one's a little bit lighter weight, so it's actually a pretty straight flying vulture. It almost flies like my Undertaker's and it's making like a really nice turnover disc. And then I've got this other ESP that's just a little bit more stable than that. And then I've got a Big Z, which is a little bit more stable than that. Um, so I've got 
these are kind of beating in at different rates, so it'll be really cool to see uh, how the Vulture, I think, is gonna fill multiple slots in my bag eventually. And then next up, we've got Raptors. So this is, I think, gonna be my go-to forehand fairway. Right now, I've got an ESP Raptor and then both runs of Cap Raptors in the bag. I doubt both of these are gonna stay because they're kind of utility discs for me with how stable they are, but right now I'm trying them both out and seeing uh, which one I like. This ESP Raptor is starting to beat in. I'm hoping that in a month or so, it'll be just a really straight flying forehand disc for me. And then my last fairway is my roller discs, another Chandler Fry stamped. Uh, this is a heat. Um, I'm not really sure what the weight is on it, but I think it's a little bit lighter than max weight. Um, initially, it was like a really nice flip up to riding right disc, but now that it's starting to beat in, um, it's turning into a really great roller disc. Okay, moving on to distance drivers. So I've got a lot more distance drivers in the bag right now. Uh, than I probably will once the season actually is in full swing, just because it takes time to kind of beat those in. And I wanna make sure I have multiple discs that are seasoned to where I like them. So if I lose one, I'm not hurting right away. So I know the Force is gonna be a staple in my bag because it's a little bit beefier than what I actually like for distance drivers initially, which means I know once I've been throwing them for a couple months, they're gonna be just like a perfect stability. And so this will be for more controlled distance shots, both forehand and backhand, um, when I'm not necessarily looking for max distance, but I'm looking to just kind of place the disc in the fairway in that like 350 to 380 range. So I've got a 170 gram ESP Force. This one's already a pretty straight flyer, um, especially for forehand. So I'm really liking this disc for that. And then I've got um, this one's also a 170, but it's a little bit newer, and so it's a little bit more overstable. And last but not least, my go-to big distance driver. I've got five of them in the bag right now because I'm starting to cycle them. We got the Nuke. Um, so let's start with the flippier Nukes. I've got a lightweight ESP, say lightweight, I think it's like a 168, 169 gram. Um, what's nice about getting something that's about five to eight grams lighter than what I normally throw is right away, it's gonna be a little bit more understable and that's definitely what I've seen um, with this nuke. So this is probably the most flippy nuke I have currently. I can throw it hard and it's gonna flip up and ride right and get some distance. Uh, same on forehand, I can throw it for just kind of straight distance shots. And then I've got two more ESP nukes. This was actually the first one Discraft sent me, so it's already starting to get to that really nice like bomber stability. It's a max weight nuke that I've been throwing for about a month and a half, um, and I really like how it's beat in. And because I like how this one beat in, I know the nuke's probably gonna be a staple in my bag uh, going forward. And then this one I just put in the bag about a week ago, and so it's just a little bit more stable than uh, the one I've been throwing. And then lastly, I've got this Z Nuke, which is super, super beefy. I don't know if I'll end up throwing, keeping both this Z Nuke and the Z Force in the bag because they currently kind of serve the same purpose of being like that just trusty headwind disc. Um, I'm keeping them both in the bag for now just to see how they beat in over time and see if they kind of retain that stability or if they start to get flippy on me, I'll probably end up taking one of them out. Um, but yeah, that's it for my initial bag. Uh, like I said, a lot of this is just trying to get to know these new molds, get to know these new plastics, see how they beat in, kind of see what my preferences are, um, so I know what backups to get and kind of how to start uh, building my game. All right, thank you guys for watching. That's kind of my initial uh, Discraft bag. Um, if there's anything you think that I might like, a disc that you didn't see me mention or that I might like to try, hit me up, let me know, I'll, uh, I'll give it a shot, post something on my Instagram with it. Um, building the bag is a process, you don't figure out, you know, in, in the first couple of weeks, it'll probably be an ongoing process throughout the year, but I'm super excited, these discs are amazing, um, and I'm really happy to be part of Discraft.